That's right, folks. We back at it again. Look, another Sunday drop, right? Look, don't forget, it goes like this. Hashtag Soul Food Sunday, right? You see my entry? Look, we're going to make a sweet potato pie. But check it out. This is a twofer. And when I say twofer, look, that means two for one for those of you guys that don't know what that means, right? Listen, it's Soul Food Sunday, and we're getting ready for the holidays. So with that being said, let's go. Those are my sweet potatoes. I just put them on high, put the lid on, and we go from there, right? Because what we're doing is we multitasking. Now, check this out. I'm gonna be using, look, these are the pie crust from Pillsbury, right? Look, it's already ready made, and I think if I go like that, yeah, look, there's two of these in the box. So, we'll start on this side. Look, we got brown sugar, walnuts, pecan, flour, evaporated milk, granulated sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla extract, we got butter, and then look, I left these for last, because listen, if you guys got access to, especially for my people Midwest that got their own chickens and all that kind of stuff, hen eggs are the level up, folks. With that being said, say it, don't forget, as always, the full ingredient list is down in the description box below. I took the walnut, pecans, butter, flour, and my brown sugar, right? This is gonna be the topping on there. And I gotta tell you this part, it's completely optional. You don't have to put the topping on there, but look, we just trying to level it up, especially for, you know, for the folks down south that love them nuts on the top. I got something for you. Hey, with that being said, we're gonna wait till these finish boiling and they cook. Look, I got my toothpick, and when we check it, we wanna just make sure that when we hit it, it's nice and soft, right? These been boiling for a minute. I can't give you guys a time, right? If I give you a time, it won't be accurate because it depends on how big your sweet potatoes are, right? So again, I just get the toothpick. I go in there, okay, we good, we good. And just get one of these out like this. Oh, they ready too. I'm gonna show you how you know they ready. It's already soft. I didn't told you that part, right? But when I take it over here and I do like this, you see that right there? When they get ready to peel, mm, this is gonna be fire, folks. When they come out of that, that boiling water, listen, they hot and it'd be hard for you to, you know, you know, just even uh, touch them. So listen, they real soft. I got a knife out right here, but look, you could just take them right here. Now this part gonna be a little time consuming, you know what I mean? Cause we gotta get it and then we just gotta peel it. I don't know no e easier way to do it, but the way I'm doing it right here, you just wanna get it, you know, and just start peeling it and hope that you can get enough. You know what I mean? So look, I'm not gonna bore you. I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of this out, get all of this skin off, but it's nice and soft. And then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so look, you guys can see I got everything peeled, right? Now would be a good time for you guys to come on over here. Look, you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven, right? So I just hit bake. We're gonna do it at 350 degrees. And then we're gonna hit start. Now, as this is coming up to temp, check this out. I got a masher, finally. And listen, they did not leave their name, but this came from a subscriber. I just wanna say, hey, thank you for sending this out. Look, this right here is a lifesaver. It's self-explanatory, folks. If this is soft enough, we hit it like this, right? And we just go ahead and just get it mashed down like this. This is the right consistency right here, folks. They're not overly soft, still have a little bite to it. Now, this recipe, look, we usually use about two cups. This is gonna be a little bit more than two cups. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two cups out of here and I'm gonna separate it because I'm actually making two pies. If you guys are making two, all the ingredients that you see down below, all you gotta do is just double it. Okay, so look, now we're just gonna get two cups out of here, right? This is good enough right here. So we got one, right? Then I go in here and get another one. I know they heaping right now. I could just look and see how it is. I can live with this. This is good enough, right? Remember, recipe we call them for two cups. If you guys don't have one of these and you wanna know every time you make a pie, how it burns, man, I'm learning so much, folks, and I'm just passing it down to y'all. When you put that pie crust on here and you, you put it in there in that oven, you know what I mean? Once it gets to the desired color you like, you put this around it like this, and check it out, folks. It protects that, keeps it from getting any darker. Hmm, fire. I always tell you guys, you gotta have the right tool for the job, right? So we're gonna be using this as our pie crust. I wanna show you guys something. Before I put down my, my flour, look, I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up. I just wanna show you this part. If I put it on here like this, we don't have enough coverage, right? Because we want it to be on the side, on the edge. If you guys look at it, you can see it's got that little pattern that's like that. You see that? What we gotta do is put a little flour in there. If you got a, a rolling pin, you can put some flour down. And we finna just roll this out and just stretch it out just a little bit.
Okay, so look, now I have my other stick of uh, butter. Look, it's already at room temperature. I'm finna just do it old school. You know what I mean? We just go ahead and just smear some of this around here. We just don't want nothing to stick to it, right? Okay, so look, I pretty much put this down like right on point, right? But I can see I got a little overage, overage right here. So look, I'm just gonna take my kitchen shears, you know what I mean, just work myself, you know, work my way around, excuse me if I was in your way. Now I want you guys to talk to me down in the comment section below and tell me how do you do yours? Do you think it's even worth it to you even make it anymore? Cause I ain't gonna lie, you guys can say what you wanna say with Pillsbury and other companies too, they all make a good ready-made dough. Guala. This the thing, we only put it in there just to like give it a head start on the cooking, right? We wanna go, I'm gonna say either 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna look at it at 10 minutes. Don't forget we have 350 degrees. And then we are gonna use this once it goes in there and we cooking the whole pie down. Okay, so I'm looking at it. I like what I see. So what I'm gonna do is, let me just go ahead. I'm gonna leave that going. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put it on a cooling rack, right? You might get a little drawback, it depends, but this is what you'll come up with like that, right? So take it, put it over here. What I'm gonna do is, since we got these, this in here already, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit of my white sugar in. Gotta get that vanilla extract in there, right? I know a lot of y'all probably saying right now, like, hey, hold up, baby. Make sure you don't get all of the, uh, make sure your egg is good, so crack it in something else. But I'm gonna let you know that I live like in the big city. When I look at it, it look good. And when you know when you live in a big city, they pretty much, like I said, I have never ever had a bad egg. Unless I was somewhere like rural where my grandparents brought up or something like that, and then we check them all. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of this in here, just a little bit, just to get it going. Now, I wanna say we don't wanna make a mess, right? And then look, we have melted butter, right? So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here because I, I went ahead and did a whole stick. We're gonna put half of it in there, right? But I'm gonna start like that. Remember, always start on low, folks. All right, so there we go. This is what I wanna see. You know what I mean? We just start nice and slow. You know, just start getting everything incorporated just like you see. We just want this to be nice and creamy. Then we go ahead and add a little speed to it. All right, this is good. We don't have nothing coming out the side or nothing like that. Now we had a little bit of sugar left. Now we're going to go ahead and add that. Real simple, folks. This should take some of y'all back to when you, your childhood. Remember when Big Mama had us in the kitchen? Add a little bit more of this milk. Reason I'm, I'm going to say that, because this is probably the way everybody going to make it. Now I showed you guys using a ready, uh, ready-made pie crust, the kind that we do that, put it in the oven and brown it a little bit, right? Just to get it pre-cooked. This is the way most people gonna do it, right? And I'm just springing this on to you because I said, you know what, it'd probably be a good way for me to show you. Look, already ready. These are readily available everywhere. So what we wanna do is we just wanna go ahead and just, you know, go ahead and just pour this in here like that. Let me just get my hands right. We just go like this. Now that's up to you guys how much you wanna go ahead and keep, you know, blending. You know what I mean? If you want it to be like super, super cream, creamy, you can do that. You know what I mean? Uh, this texture right here worked just fine because when I put it in this oven, you know what I mean? It's going to be right. And don't forget, folks, we're going to put that, that nutty, you know, topping on there. That's what's going to make this one this year way different than the one last year. So I'm going to add my flour, all of my nuts, right? I know y'all thinking right now that I'm going to use one cup a brown sugar, right? This happened to be a quarter cup, so you know I gotta go in here four times. We just gonna get this all mixed up, get this going. Set this off right here. Then I'm gonna use like a, another half stick right in here like this. So then look, we just gonna work this in together just like this. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. Have you ever had something like this before? On top of your, you know, on top of your yam, excuse me, I keep saying yam, on top of your sweet potato pie. All right, so look, now I get real simple. Look, I'm gonna go in with my hand. You you gotta do it how you wanna do it. You know what I mean? I love to cook with my hands anyway. You know what I mean? I just take it and I just add it on here like this. I promise you guys, if you like walnuts, 
you know, pecan, stuff like that. You can use whatever kind of nuts you want. Never done this with peanuts, you know what I mean? But if that floats your boat, that works too. But this right here, hey, we taking the sweet potato pie to a whole nother level this year, folks. Okay, so look, now you see them both done two different ways, right? This is the most easiest and simplest way, and probably 80% of everybody that's gonna be making these sweet potato pies are gonna be doing them like this, right? And then look, when you look at this right here, you gotta get yourself one of these. When I put it inside of the oven, I wanna just show you this. Once I get it inside of the oven, right, I'ma keep watching it. I'm probably looking at it about every 15 minutes, right? Once I get the desired color that I want on here so that it doesn't burn, then we put this little protector on there and that'll you know, keep it from you know cooking any further as far as the browning go. So we'll leave this off. Oh, and one key thing is, listen, they're going in for 50 minutes to an hour, you know what I mean? So I got both of the ovens, they both ready. So I'll see you guys in just one second. Okay, look, it's been about 55 minutes, right? Let's go ahead, pull this out. Let me show you this masterpiece right here. Pull that off. Okay, so look, now you guys can see, this is what it looks like. This is real time. Look, I've already got myself a slice out, and let me just bring this around so you guys can see what the inside of it look. Key thing is, listen, once you make it and you take it out of the oven, please let it sit up. I let mine sit up and I let it set for about five hours. You know what I mean? Then you, you know what? It, you probably make your pies and do that kind of stuff the day before, right? So you put them in the refrigerator after they completely cool, then they'll be nice. So that way when you sit them out, when you cut them, they won't be sagging or nothing like that. Hey, with that being said, look, I'm not trying to like keep continuing to over talk. I'm just gonna go in here and get down like this. Oh. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Man, this right here is fire, folks. Now listen, we, every year we always gonna do sweet potato pie, right? I got that part. But listen, you guys never seen me put this, you know, this nutty topping on there, right? The walnut, pecan, brown sugar, that flour, it cooks inside of that. It's almost like having a, a sweet crumble type. I don't know how to explain it, but this right here is fire, folks. I promise you, once you do it like that, and I gotta tell you this, you wanna, wanna know how I can tell you it levels up the regular sweet potato? I don't even like nuts like that. And this right here, I could go down and just go in. Now, with that being said, let me know what you guys think about what you just seen. Talk to me down in the comment section below and check this out. If you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here, listen to this. It's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I don't know what else to say, but guess what? Peace.